think I have some explaining to do. Hello, how are you all doing? I've missed you all, I've missed this. I know I need to explain to y'all where I have been because I know not everybody follows me on Facebook and Twitter, so you, a lot of you don't know what's been going on. First thing that's been going on, I broke my foot. I was out of work for two weeks, or two weeks, two months. I didn't really do much uh, that I deemed or that I thought was going to be vlog worthy. So I didn't really vlog. I do have some random videos that I'm going to compile. Well, they already are compiled. I just need to put some finishing touches on them, add some music, and I'll be able to upload a compilation of two months time. And then I also have a vlog from when I went to London. I did the Harry Potter studio tour, and that will be a vlog coming up soon as well. I don't know when. If y'all didn't know, I suffer from anxiety and depression. It's said that anxiety is being worried about everything and depression is not caring about anything and having both is hell. And that is very accurate. Very, very accurate. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, if you don't suffer from either of them or are un like don't know anybody or are unfamiliar with it, having anxiety, it really is like you're... It's more than just being stressed out. I actually handle stress like a boss. When I am anxious, like that is a totally different story. That is, I have coping mechanisms, um, but anxiety is not fun. It, it really is, you know, you're just worried and overanalyzing every little thing. If I'm around people too much, I have to seclude myself. I need that alone time. Part of it is just, it's just my personality. A big part of it is just I get anxious and I need to reboot. Um, so alone time for me is just being able to reboot so that I can interact with people and so that I can do this. And I do get panic attacks, like my chest tightens up and I can't really breathe. Um, I'm starting to get really bad anxiety from being out of work. And then not only do I suffer from anxiety, but like I said, I do also suffer from depression. And depression is kind of the opposite of anxiety. But depression basically for me, personally, I just have zero motivation. Um, I don't want to be around anybody. I don't want to do anything. It takes everything in me just to get up and shower. Um, not just from being lazy, but I just, like, it's just kind of what's the point type thing. Depression for me, I just, it's... Uh, it's just really hard for me to find the point and the motivation in anything. And then by the end of the day, I am having an anxiety attack from not doing anything, knowing that I have a bunch of stuff to do. It's great. My anxiety is finally starting to calm back down and the depression, it was about a week that it, I felt it starting to get really bad and I fought it so hard. But yeah, I am uh, clinically depressed. I got diagnosed in college. It doesn't mean that you just mope, mope around and you're just this sad person. A lot of people who appear very positive and very happy are actually clinically depressed. Um, and that's part of the reason why I'm, why I am so encouraging about just being nice and being kind and po like giving out positive vibes because there's already so much negativity in this world that we don't need anymore. We need more positive, like positivity. Um, because you never know what somebody's battling on the inside. The anxiety and depression leads me into the next thing that I wanted to talk to y'all about, especially if you don't follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram or even Snapchat, or if you do and you just missed them, like missed my post about it. The comments asking where I am, when's the next vlog going to be, or even just a comment mentioning that it's been a while or whatever, those have come to be, they trigger my anxiety pretty severely because it's never just one. Like I know that you don't mean any harm by it as individuals, but it's never just the one question. If I get the question, once on Twitter, I'm getting it five times on YouTube or three times on Facebook, but ten times on Twitter. And it's just one of those, it's, it's come to trigger anxiety for me because I'm already anxious about everything else that's going on in my life and or depressed about God knows what. It's You don't really have much control over the depression. It's just an imbalance and it just hits you like a fucking wave. Excuse my French. Those comments, like it... It makes it worse or it triggers it completely because then I feel like I'm failing. I feel like I'm failing YouTube and 
I'm letting you guys down or I'm disappointing y'all and it just makes everything worse um, or triggers it like I said. I love you all so much and I am so appreciative of you guys. I don't want this to come across as I'm taking y'all for granted or anything like that because I don't. Um, and for those of you who do follow me on those and have already reached out and provided so much support, seriously you guys have been amazing. Um, I really, like I said, like I appreciate each and every one of you. I just have to ask that you please refrain from leaving comments like that or asking where I've been and all this other stuff. I know that you don't mean any harm by it and you just don't know. Like, I get it. I, try, I don't blame y'all. I'm not mad by any means. But it, it really, really, really makes my anxiety so much worse. So please, please, please just respect, respect that. And just know that if it, a time comes again where I haven't uploaded a video in a while or if it's a day or two late, I usually I upload vlogs on Mondays. If it's not on a Monday, just know that it's not because I'm lazy or because I just don't want to or anything. If I just decide to quit, which, or quit YouTube, it's not going to be happening anytime soon. But if I do, I'll let y'all know. Don't worry. I'm not just going to up and leave y'all and leave you hanging. I'm not going to ghost y'all. I'm sounding like a broken record, but just please respect my wishes and not ask where it is and know that I'm either ridiculously busy and and haven't had the time yet or I am suffer like going through a bout of depression or anxiety and my mental health that's gonna come first. It's not just because I'm being lazy or I just don't want to. There's always a reason, a valid reason as to why it's not uploaded on time or as to why I take a little bit of a break it's because sometimes I do need that mental break and it's nothing about you guys by any means it's just I've been dealing with this for years now so it's I know what I need to do to help the anxiety go away or to pull myself out of the depression uh, and then one last thing is uh, my laptop broke. Something happened with the RAM and it wasn't sending information to the motherboard anymore. So it, the laptop just wasn't turning on at all. It wasn't until later in the week, like that happened on a Monday and I didn't get the new laptop until Friday, but then I had all of my, I didn't have anything saved on an external drive because apparently I did not learn my lesson from when I lost my pictures last year. Hands up if you, witnessed that little meltdown about losing all my pictures anyway yeah um i do have an external hard drive now my saint of a boyfriend has loaned me his for the time being uh, he also so i just gotta give a big shout out to this man he has been just amazing last week was one of the most like stressful tiresome long weeks that he's had since i've known him and he still took the time to put my hard drive in the old from the old computer in his laptop because he was doing this. We don't really see each other during the week. Um, so I gave him my old laptop when he was here for the weekend. And so he did that over the course of last week, transferred all of my crap from the old laptop onto the external hard drive so that way that I could then sift through everything and move it all to this puppy. So I was able to save the videos, the um, Harry Potter Studio Tour video and the random compilation video. Um, I was able to save those. Oh yes, one more thing. Um, a lot of questions that I've been getting in the comments or on other stuff, I don't want to come off sounding like I don't care because I do. I love answering questions. I love answering questions. I love hearing y'all stories but there are some questions like how much we get how much the flight attendant gets paid you're gonna get a faster answer from google than you are from me i sit down once a day or once every other day to answer like to actually look at comments and respond to them you're gonna get a faster answer from google for some basic questions like that um, also i really am not an expert in every airline in the world i'm not even 100 percent familiar with all the airlines here in the states so asking questions about the like airlines in the Middle East or Asia or Europe, I haven't the faintest. Which leads me into my next thing. I have links for all of my frequently asked questions. I also have a lot of frequently asked questions listed down below in the down bar. So please, 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 before you ask a question, double check those first. I did those videos and put those questions down there because I get those questions so much 
and it's just easier for me to answer it once for everybody than have to repeat myself a hundred times for the same question. Yeah, so please, I do have questions answered down below in the down bar. I have links to other videos. I have links to my terminology videos. What is OPR? Answered in the terminolo terminolo terminology video. Whew. I do have links to all my social media account media accounts down below. I need to wrap this up now because I can't talk. That is where you're going to get immediate updates as to what's going on, if something's not going to be posted, why it's not going to be posted. So please, please, please follow me on those accounts. I think that's it. To end on a good note, please leave a comment down below of something good that has happened to you, something positive, or something that you're looking forward to. I love seeing um, good things happen to other people. In the meantime, until my next video, as always, go make some awesome, some fantastic memories. I love you all so much. I really do appreciate y'all being patient with me and being so understanding and being supportive. I just cannot express how much gratitude I have for you guys. I love you all. Goodbye.